Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let us try to find out integral of tan inverse x by x square. To solve this problem, we will be using integration by parts. So let us write down what is integration by parts. Suppose we want to find out integral of product of two functions. Let us say 1 and 2 integral of 1 into 2 dx is equal to first integral of second function multiply that with first function then minus integral of whatever we got the integral of second function that we have to multiply with derivative of first function and for this whole thing we have to do the integral. Now this is integration by parts. To solve this problem let us consider our first function as tan inverse x and the second function as 1 by x square because we can integrate 1 by x square but we cannot integrate tan inverse x but we can differentiate tan inverse x. So, what will be our answer then? First, integral of 1 by x square dx that we have to multiply with tan inverse x then minus of integral of integral of 1 by x square dx that we have to multiply with derivative of tan inverse x. This whole thing we have to do integral. Let us simplify that. What is the integral of 1 by x square minus 1 by x? Why? Because 1 by x square is x power minus 2 and the formula is integral of x power n is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. So minus 1 by x into tan inverse x minus integral of 1 by x square is minus 1 by x. So I can take that minus out. We have 1 by x multiply with what is derivative of tan inverse x 1 by 1 plus x square into dx. So we have to find out now integral of 1 by x into 1 plus x square dx. Let us go to the next step that is equal to minus tan inverse x divided by x plus integral of in denominator we have x into 1 plus x square and in the numerator we have only 1. So what we will do? We will add x square, we will subtract x square. The idea being that we can cancel 1 plus x square and 1 plus x square. We should be able to simplify that. So let us go to the next step. In the next step we will have minus tan inverse x by x plus we will separate them now. So the first part will be 1 plus x square by x into 1 plus x square and the second part will be integral of we have dx here then x square by x into 1 plus x square dx. Let us go to the next step. We have minus tan inverse x divided by x plus now 1 plus x square 1 plus x square cancel. We have 1 by x dx and that we know integral of 1 by x is log x. Then after that we have minus integral of x dx by 1 plus x square. Let us go to the next step. That is equal to minus of tan inverse x divided by x plus log of x minus. Now how can we write down integral of x dx by 1 plus x square? If you take 1 plus x square equal to t, let me show it to you. Let us say 1 plus x square equal to t. We have 2x dx equal to dt. 
that means x dx equal to half of dt so what we have now in terms of t will become half dt by t so that will be minus tan inverse x last step by x plus log of x minus half log t but what is t t is 1 plus x square half log 1 plus x square plus c so this is how we can solve that we will also solve it in another method where we will use trigonometric substitution let's have a look at that also integral of tan inverse x by x square dx how to do using trigonometric substitution so i will take x equal to tan theta then we will have tan inverse x equal to theta when we differentiate we will have dx equals to secant square theta d theta now let's go ahead and convert everything into theta thetas tan inverse x is theta dx is secant square theta d theta divided by x square that is tan square theta now simplify this this is equal to theta into what is secant square theta by tan square theta 1 by cos square theta divided by sin square by cos square theta that is cosecant square theta d theta so that is theta into cosecant square theta d theta now we will use integration by parts this will be our first function and this will be our second function so by integration if we apply integration by parts to find out the integral of product of these two functions second function integral so that is integral of cosecant square theta into first function as it is minus integral of integral of second function multiply that with derivative of first function everything we have to take again integral so what is integral of cosecant square theta minus cot theta so i can write down minus theta cot theta minus integral of cosecant square theta is minus cot theta so i can write it as cot theta into derivative of theta is 1 that is into 1 d theta so which is equal to minus theta cot theta plus integral of cot theta we know is log sin theta because we can write it as cos theta by sin theta then take sin theta equal to t cos theta d theta will be dt so we have direct formula this is log sin theta plus c now how to convert this again back into x let's do it in the next step so we know theta equal to tan inverse x so we can write down minus of theta that is tan inverse x into cot theta which is equal to 1 by x plus log of sin theta now how to write sin theta in terms of tan can i write it as tan theta by secant theta because sin theta by cos theta into cos theta is sin theta so in the next step we will have minus tan inverse x by x plus log tan theta minus log secant theta but what is secant theta root of 1 plus tan square theta plus c or can we write it as minus tan inverse x plus log of x minus log of root of 1 plus x square plus c or we can take out that root out we can write down minus tan inverse x plus log of x minus half log 1 plus x square plus c so you can solve this problem using trigonometric substitution 
or we can also solve it directly by integration by parts both the ways you will get your answer same that is minus tan inverse x by x plus log of x minus half log 1 plus x square plus c